Hello everybody. Um, welcome to a very different style of discussion that we're going to video today. The subject is about enclosures. Now, I know we've spoken about the subject many times before, and the message that very typically comes out is usually about getting in early in the process so that you can avoid costly um, errors in the way that your products are made and designed, and also smooth out some of the issues that you may encounter. Now today we're going to take a slightly different approach. What we're going to do today is actually visit Hammond Manufacturing and actually look directly and film directly what they do and see their process in action. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, as we now go into Hammond Manufacturing. Okay, we're now at Hammond and my guide today is Russell. Good to meet you Russell. Welcome. Let's go and see Hammond. Thank you. So Russell, thanks ever so much for the opportunity to come to Hammond itself. Um, Hammond itself is much bigger than just the UK site though that we've got here. Could you give us a bit of an insight into the Hammond of the company? Yes, of course. Um, we're a Canadian owned family business. We've been in existence now for 117-ish years. Wow. Um, started back in, the, in the, the previous century by a keen engineer. Um, who was developing a range of enclosures and transformers, which is primarily still the product base that we have today. We started in Europe uh, around about 25 years ago, looking after the European market, and we serve all of Europe from our base here in Basingstoke. Um, stocking products, delivering to the distributors, to the customers, um, from here. Yeah, so it's, 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 it is significantly more than just maybe the, what people would see as the UK face. It's much a bigger yes, organisation. Yes. Very much so. The, the product range globally is, is much larger from the small plastic enclosures and, and miniature enclosures we do that uh, we're so well known for in Europe through to large steel, street side furniture, steel enclosures, 19 inch racks, power products. Um, and a lot of other things available to everybody worldwide, but uh, primarily sold through uh, the US and North American operations. Yeah, I totally understand. Now, going way, way back, if I can take you all the way back to December 2022, uh, you and I had a discussion, and one of the points that came out of that was that the enclosure typically is specified late in the design process, which adds to cost, which adds to other issues along the way. Has that changed? Um, are we in a different world? Unfortunately, no. No, it still seems to be that uh, in many cases, it, let's, let's be fair to engineers, it's not all cases, but in many cases, the, the development goes into the, to the, the core of the product, the PCB, the active part of the thing, and the enclosure is still the secondary consideration. Um, it becomes seen as the thing to wrap the widget in, um, rather than an integral part of the widget itself. Um, and as you say, that normally then causes people problems later in the day with size restrictions, restrictions on particular requirements they have, be it for sealing or EMC or, or protection, whatever it might be. So, yeah, we would still encourage people to think about the enclosure as early in the process as possible. Yeah, I get that. So today, a bit of a special day because rather than just uh, as we've done before, having a chat, we're actually physically at Hammond mm. uh, today. Could you tell us what Hammond has done for its customers? What makes Hammond different? And what is it that's enabling you to really serve your customers well? Uh, we like to think of the, everything we do is about serving our customers. We understand our customer base, uh, what our customers are looking for. So from the very initial phases from our website through the information that we provide through the distributors the technical information is is readily available be it drawings be it descriptive um, to enable customers to better select the products that they're looking for um, we give them the technical information to help with the decision making we give them the CAD files and the drawings to be able to model parts to integrate them into their designs early and to make the part as easy to integrate as possible um, we detail accessories that are available, we detail the, the added services, things like modification, things like printing, things that need doing to enclosures. Enclosures very, very rarely stay as a standard enclosure. They, they're they're a, you know, a, a, a blank canvas, if you will, that needs some modification for 
It may be just a simple switch or an LED or a connector sticking through, but almost invariably something needs to be done to the box. So we also offer that as a service to, oh, to yeah. give the customers what they need. So we have in front of us on the table here, is this an example of modification? Yeah, very simple one that um, we use. So we have something like that, the standard uh, enclosure, which as, as you can see comes with the, uh, you'd expect with the lid in the box, but there's no facility in it to do anything other than you know, treat it as a box. Here's an example of a modified part. So as you can see from this one now, the machining has been done. So we've got vents and we've got connector holes. So this is just an example of um, t a typical type of thing. Holes have been put in the side for which we fitted cable glands. Um, it's also had the internal um, back panel modified and that's been machined and fitted. Um, and this is sort of a very small example. It's got a small example of the, show it that way better, the printing on the lid. Um, we've got uh, digital printing in our arsenal. So we're able to print multiple colors, photo reel. Um, it gives us an advantage over screen printing in that we can do more with it. Okay, um, so, so with, the, with the printing capability, is this something that's been led by customer demand? No, it was more through, through our watching the technology develop. Um, screen printing is still something we use. We've still got customers that only require one or two colours. So screen printing is still a, a, a cost-effective option. But as the technologies develop with inkjet printing, the, the, the capability is there to do so much more. Right. So it's as much from our side to educate the customer on what we can now do to enable them to incorporate it into their designs and things as it is customers coming to us and saying, can you do this? You know, we have this logo or we have this right. particular right. requirement for printing. Um, but if we find it's more flexible, it's, uh, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it gives us more options. Okay, now I understood. Now, obviously one of the issues in the last <coughs> few years has been the supply chain and availability. What sort of stock levels do you hold and what sort of speed can you turn stock round? Uh, from the base here in Basingstoke, we've got extensive stocks. Um, we're in three units on this particular estate currently um, and two of those are full up with, uh, with stock. So we're holding around about three to four months worth of the typical supply that customers require. That's being held in order to feed the distribution channels that we have in Europe for the products. So between them and us, stock should be always available. That's backed up for us from the Canadian site. We've got further stocks in Canada, which is held for us and for the North American customers. So we've got extensive stock, which is, as you mentioned with the, the, the supply chain issues, was one of the things that uh, did give us great comfort during that. We weren't you know, beholden on, on, on getting parts or getting materials. We had enough parts around us. We did see some supply issues, but generally we were, we were able to, to manage our way through it and keep supply to yeah. the customers going. Yeah, incredi incredibly important, incredibly important. So it's, a, it's a quite obvious to me, as a visitor, um, that you are in a position and you are flexible uh, that you can adapt to what the client is asking from you. Um, and also that you're actually advising them uh, yes, we're here for advice. Um, it's as, as I mentioned earlier, we've been with manufacturing enclosures for well over a hundred years, and we've we've seen most scenarios over the years. So, what might be a new issue or a new um, challenge to to one customer could well be something we've already done with somebody else, and we've got answers, we've got some advice, and we can we can help steer them certainly in the right direction and and help them avoid some of the many potholes that they can uh, they can fall down um, without knowing some of the, 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 the nuances of the things that we're doing. Yeah, totally. I totally understand that. And I think the real advantage that I see uh, to that is that whatever the complication is that they're facing, if you can't directly solve it, then you seem to have the ability to steer them towards the right yes. direction yes. Um, on that. Thank you, Russell. Uh, what I picked up from my visit today um, is the reality of what's taking place and the reality of what Hammond is offering, which has given me a really strong insight.
So if you're watching this and you're facing an enclosure challenge of some description, uh, can I personally say that talk to Hammond. Um, the advice and the technical expertise here is extremely good and is extremely useful. And um, I think one of the things that really stands out is the willingness to find a solution as well. Uh, it's not off the shelf. It's not going to be an issue. It's a case of finding that solution. So all the contact information to talk to Hammond, to talk directly to Russell, will be on the final screen of the video. Uh, as I said when we started out, this is a very special day because we're actually in situ seeing the products for real. So thank you for watching. Thank you, Russell, for your time. You're welcome. And we'll see you on the next video. So we've come away now. We're on our way back to the office. Um, really good visit to Hammond. Really good to see exactly what they do, how they adapt to modify enclosures, how as well they've got the ability to do some incredible printing um, on their products as well. Um, really good eye-opener for me to see it up close and personal. And also as well, um, my plan is to go and see more products like this and to produce content that actually shows the reality of what these products do. So we hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching it again and please stay tuned.